pathetic fool. What's good, pack a bowl, it's your boy Drew the Token On camera we smoking, I got boxes to open Make it rain, make it storm I control my weather, oh you got some good shit My collection better if I want it And I am you shit and I'm a buyer Collector, I ain't quiet, I'm a fiend, Bray Wyatt I got statues and resins, I got figures and merch I got rares, I got customs, my shit got so much work This is packed and unpacked, ain't no series This chill each week, new edition I got empty spots to fill, my fandom got choices collection is very they say don't go wild but the way i got carried i got thanos gogeta rick and morty and ryu any badass figure of a character i'm finna buy you i got studio sellers sculptors in my dm cross the world hit me up new shit the first to see him fuck the price tag real talk and i mean it i'd rather get these hauls and a new chick throw my penis live up smoke out game on is the phrase hands up i've spoken follow me this is the way live up live up grab your Life by the rain, smoke out, smoke out. Hell yeah, we get in blaze. Game on, game on. Life too hard not to play. Hands up, I've spoken. Follow me, this is the way. Stand out, let the world never catch you with your pants down. Hell yeah, we grind like a handout. So, um, even though I'm still in the unboxing phase in real time. I'm going to throw this in before I get the shit out. Shout out to Yi Mi Tang and Icebreaker Designs. That's where I got this piece from. Shout out to all of you guys, my homie Black Eye TV, all my people who follow me. If you don't follow me yet, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, all that other shit. I hope you have some fun with this episode because shit's about to get weird. <laughs> You can be a king, why stop there, gone to the next thing? Why be a king when you can be a god? Why be a god when evil go hard? Hit the be raw, ain't never going soft. Why go in when you can go off? I'ma live up and I'ma smoke out. The game always on when I'm playing in your mouth. Niggas up north, but these hoes down south. Don't talk with your mouth full when you bow down. Drew the legend, yeah, you know what I'm about. Me and my drip, I'ma fucking stand out. Stand out, let the world never catch you with your pants down. Hell yeah, we grind fuck a hand out. The world in my palm, be the plan. Now, watch how I stand out, stand out, blue so go, 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 live up, smoke out, game on, live up, smoke out, game on. Bust that, I'ma do what I want if you must ask. Put it all on the table, let you touch that. Go and put that wop on my mustache. We gon' fuck fast, then stack cash and get paid. Roll a blunt tight like a braid and get blazed. Give a heart to bay and get them blazed. Throw your middle finger up and just rage. Yeah, token drew. Weed is my weapon. I'm this whole nigga that's into collecting. What you rapping, be the best in. You only die once, no use stressing. Write down your goals, never stop the grind. Your biggest enemy is the one in your mind. Take the first step, do an extra rep. Eat that cake, live while you got breath. Ask her out or leave your abuser. She's still your man, you don't gotta shoot her. And haters mean that you're doing shit right. But hold the gray area, it's just black and white. Worry about you, keep your eye on the prize. Well, fucking stand out, I'ma show you why. Shout out to my dude, KT, we gon' fly. Lose so go in the night, we gon' ride. Let the world never catch you with your pants down. Hell yeah, we grind, fuck a handout. The world in my palm, beat the plan now. Watch how I stand out, stand out. Let the world never catch you with your pants down. Hell yeah, we grind, fuck a handout. The world in my palm, beat the plan now. Watch how I stand out, stand out. Blue so go, 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 live up, smoke out, game on. Out, get the gas out, we can do it for the girls with the ass out Killer Keller rolling up with the stash out Big style in this bitch with your cash out My cousin Q got the shit and the drip When he roll up this blowing tits And when I show up you know what it is BOC goons we still in this bitch And all our shit is straight custom If they hating on us, fuck them I'm down on sleep, if you fuck with me I snap my fingers and I dust them Fuck them, on the radio we cussing We go get so high, never so low That rebel swag like Han Solo Live up, smoke out, game on, loose so go What's good, everyone? It's your boy, 
Token Drew. And we here with another edition of Pack and Unpack. A series where I pack a bowl and unpack some cool. But today, we got the blizzard and the gauntlet. So you know it's a special one today, baby. But before we get started, first things first, children, get your ass up out of here. This channel is not meant for you, so you need to go and get somewhere safe. So what's good, everybody? Happy Halloween. Tomorrow is Halloween, and for this, I wanted to do a very, very special episode. By the point that you get to this point in the video, you will already have seen what I'm unboxing today, but... For me, it's still blind. And I wanted to do something very special for it. So for that special thing I did, well, let's just say I can't do this video alone. <laughs> so my special guest today, well, let's let him introduce himself. Well, this is new. My name. Is just order. I come from the Mesoverizan. I'm a drop, yeah. which is a dark elf. That's what we're doing this episode. <laughs> a dark elf coming from the Underdark, an area filled with nocturnal creatures, dangerous, deadly, and violent. So we're gonna do this episode differently because I realize a lot of you people is not gonna know who this is. But. I already said who I am. Dritz the Ornament. Yes, yes, I know you told them who you are. So, I'm going to give you a little bit of backstory on him. I can handle my story myself. No, no, you go ahead, take it away since it is you. I'll just introduce the different categories and they come up. Teamwork makes dream work, right? <laughs> Created by R.A. Salvatore for the Forgotten Realm series. Think of it like... Lord of the Rings, but for adults. My class is a ranger, if you've ever played Dungeons and Dragons. My companion is Gwenbar, a mythical black panther that I summon from a figurine and return her to her astral plane. My companions, Caddy Bree, my future wife, Wolfgar, the mighty barbarian, Brunner Battlehammer, the great dwarf king, and Regis, the cunning hacker. And my greatest enemy is Artemis and Tyr, a dual blade wielding assassin, very similar to myself and my alter ego, the hunter. But enough about my backstory. Let's talk about this depiction of myself. So I believe there are a fair number of categories to go through, the number being five. Let's do it. Kicking things off with detail. So the detail for this piece, not bad. You know, there is no true official depiction of what I look like. Hell, I can even have this beard for all we know. <laughs> this company, they did a very good job of capturing the overall essence of the character, especially including Gwenbar which is a must-have. Though I do wish they did include the figurine, but they got everything else right. So let's go ahead and give them 20 points. Next up, bass. So for the bass, the bass is not bad. The base is very big, but it fits two pretty big statues on there. It's icy, based off the first book that I appear in, the Icewind Dale trilogy. Yes, it actually came before Legend of Drift, which explored my backstory. What was that strange noise? Hmm. Must be some kind of weird magic. But as I was saying, the base, you know, I wish it had a bit more detail. So the base is not that heavy, though it is large. 
So for base, we're going to go ahead and give them 17 points. Now, for Pose. All right, so for the Pose, I'm gonna hop in on this part. No, no, you go ahead. This Pose is absolutely incredible. You have him, you have Gwenvar, and they're just standing there looking great. It looks just like it was ripped out of the cover of one of the books. So for the pose, we're gonna go ahead and give them 20 points. Next up is paint. You wanna hit this? No, no. I don't smoke. No, no, I understand. You gotta stay crisp for your whatever. So for the paint, the paint is good. However, along some of the accessories, you start to see some imperfections. And also, I wish that the eyes were brighter. In the books, the eyes are depicted as a bright purple. And this, it's like just a kind of close shade to very similar to red. So for paint, we're just gonna give them 18 points. Now, for the character accuracy. For the character accuracy. You know, I do like it. I feel like the accuracy is as good as you can get for something that does not have an official release. I also love the fact over how rare this piece is. Rare enough for me to do this, you know, appear in the real world. His size is great. This was going to be the first quarter scale statue I planned on buying, but you know, things happened and I ended up getting more, but I really appreciate all the detail that went into this. So that being said, for the character accuracy, we're gonna go ahead and give him 20 points. And now, no, no, I'll take it from here. Oh, you got this? And uh, I'm gonna take that shirt too. Hey, wait, what do you mean? Oh, sweet, I get to keep the cape. Nice. Next up, bonus points. So for the bonus points, my first impression of them, easy plus five. I love the fact that this statue included Dritzt as well as Gwenvar. You have both of his swords, Twinkle and Icing Death. You know, you have his cape or the Pwifwi as it's known. All these references to the actual source material are, were awesome. Not to mention it included the head of Jarlaxle, who was a, I don't know, some kind of another rogue drow who had a pirate hat. It would have been cooler if the bastard came with the pirate have maybe a different cape for that iteration, but you know, I guess I have another extra head I'm not gonna use anytime soon. <laughs> Kill them all, all of them, everyone in the universe, every mortal, every god, every star. Will... But he's pretty damn awesome. And finally, overall, overall, it's a dope piece. Probably aside of my couple of customs, I have the rarest piece that I own. It's so cool because I was actually a part of the design process. My man hit me up when they were making the uh, 3D sculpt of it. Like I was really pushing to see this project get made. 
I'm so glad that Icebreaker Designs went through with it. I'm glad that there was enough interest in the group for the people to actually go ahead and make this, you know? So shout out to them. Shout out to all of the fans who made this possible. Shout out to Spirit Halloween for actually having a Dritz sword in costume. What's the random odds of that? You know, I was just gonna like draw a picture or find some shit and I was able to find the whole ass costume and go online and find Twinkle and Icing Death as stainless steel swords. What? Man. So I'm gonna give him another plus five points. You know, I really wanted to give this a perfect score just because I'm a huge fan of the series, but you know, I can't. However, I'm not gonna take away for there not being an art box because Icebreaker Designs doesn't have somebody to do that. Maybe I'll reach out to them and be like, yo, pay me in statues, I'll design the art box for it. Actually, I'm about to hit dude up once I finish recording this. I think that'd be pretty sweet. Shout out to my homeboy, Black Eye TV, for always supporting me and spreading me to his homies, such as Hannibal and Monty and Jake Jonas and uh, Cream Cheese and, you know, She Geeks and the Geek Room, all those cats who have all subscribed to me now, you know. So shout out to all of them. That's pretty dope. That's an awesome community. If you like the drama stuff, that's where you go for it, especially my homeboy, Black Guy TV. But enough about that. Overall, adding everything up, Dritz Dorden, the quarter scale statue with Gwenvar, gets a grand total of 105 points. And that is an A plus. Very good, very fantastic. Not my highest scoring statue, but what can you do? Really good job from Icebreaker Designs. I'm glad everything came in perfectly. It even included some little glue, not glue, some uh, putty gummy stuff because some of the pieces, like the buckles, you know, makes them fit even firmer. So I appreciate that. Anyway, enough about this. Thank you for subscribing and checking out this special Grail edition of Pack and Unpack. Next week is episode 168, so that's gonna be fun. Anyway, I'm gonna finish this up and I'm gonna go take some pictures and put him in his final spot. I'm your boy, Token Drew. Peace. All right, everybody, we are back. And this is his current home. So yeah, that was a fun episode to record, you know. I'm not gonna lie, I really wanna dress up in costume for future episodes, but I'm only gonna do that once I see this series is getting actually profitable. Sharing. Well, I, I don't expect to get shares. But likes and subscribes, you know, leave a comment. That, that type of shit really helps the channel grow. You know, I tell you guys, I was gonna do a really, really cool fight scene in the costume against one of my buddies. I had bought like a big fo foam sword for him to use, but... Timing just got messed up, unfortunately. But I'm gonna do a cool skit for an upcoming episode, don't worry. If, <laughs> if anyone even makes it to this part, honestly. I don't even know who even makes it this long into the video, like... You're really gonna sit around for 20 minutes listening to me talk about fucking toys? But anyway, in case you do, you know, this is a great piece. It's not perfect. You know, I mean, the eyes, looking back on it now, the eyes feel a little bit dead. I kind of feel like they could have done better with the eyes. I'm not the biggest fan of the face, 
but there is nothing official to really go off of, you know? It's all just artist renderings. But the detail, all the stuff they did in the body and everything, great. Absolutely fantastic. So 105, that's a good score. And I don't really know if I'm getting anything else from a book series, so, you know, this is the grail right here. And actually one of my most expensive pieces, or actually it is the most expensive piece in the whole collection. <laughs> I don't feel safe with it on the glass though. So eventually I'm gonna get it in something a bit better cause I don't know. But anyway, next time on Pack and Unpack, we're back to Gogeta. But until then, I'm your boy Token Drew. Live up. Smoke out. Game on. I'm out this bitch. Thanks for watching. Peace. Delectable, my homie rode the medical. I'm the swole collector, getting lifted like some spirits. But coming to me like lyrics, picture perfect and exquisite. We dabbing, not dancing, we got that wax in museum. Got that sauce just like pasta. My name is Mr. A, you see him? And you know we keep it popping. Panties steadily dropping. We ride the THC Express, I tell you, as to hopping. We stay blazing, eyes are slanted, glowing red like a kuma. Blunt and oil, top of keep and light and mint, hit this Buddha. Smoking in the headband, tell him hi, dude. Don't give a fuck if you don't like Drew. Reckless, no telling. What am I do? One word, hype you. Next word, knife you. Tell my weed, I'm a girl, I'm finna pipe you. Grown folks, smoke this ain't high school. My blood aggressive, my fight you. Crime legendary, that high rule. Step out.